What's up, everybody? So, uh, Black Widow dropped a few days ago, and um, there's been some mixed reactions to the movie. Um, I kind of feel like you guys are being a little unfair, the people who are saying it sucked and it was terrible. And uh, I mean, was the writing kind of lazy? Yeah. Um, were there parts in the movie that were a little too draggy? Sure. Uh, but overall, uh, I think that and I try to be as fair as I can when I review movies, but um, I'm, I'm trying not to be like, you know, overly excited about it because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't an amazing movie, but uh, it was good. It was a good movie. Um, I, I, I don't know. There, there are some things that uh, like uh, Taskmaster, for instance, if you're a big uh, Taskmaster fan and you were hoping that they were going to do that character justice, then sorry to disappoint you, but um, they definitely dropped the ball with Taskmaster um, in more ways than one, which for particular reasons I'm not going to get into, but if you haven't seen it yet, then when you watch the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um... Other than that, um, the the actress that plays uh, Black Widow's sister, what's her name, uh, Florence something or other, Florence, what is it, I have it right here, Florence Pugh, Pugh, I think that's how it's pronounced, so she was a badass, she pretty much carried the movie, um, Scarlett Johansson was awesome, as always, um, but there was something about the the sister was um a very very good supporting character uh so much so that she uh shined over scarlett johansson in, in more than a few scenes um you're gonna see more of her in the future and that's all i'm gonna say about that uh you guys will see what i'm talking about she was a badass she was a total badass in the movie um there's not really much to complain about on my end. I had a good, like I said, I had a good time with it. Um, like I, but also, like I said, yes, uh, there were some draggy parts. There were some parts where they seemed like they were trying too hard to make certain scenes funnier than they should have been. Um, you know, I, I've heard everything from, you know, they were biting uh, off of uh, Winter Soldier. And yeah, I mean, you could make that argument for sure. But again, like if you're being too nitpicky about it, then you're not going to enjoy the movie. It was what it was. Also, uh, some people were talking about how uh, there was no point to release the movie. Now, I don't know if you guys were saying that last year, but even if they had dropped it last year when they were supposed to and it got pushed up to 2021 because of the whole COVID thing, um, it still would have been too late. So... I don't know if you guys are going to consider this a spoiler or not. I don't really think it is. I wasn't aware of this. Maybe you guys already are aware of it. But uh, the timeline, it's not what I thought. I thought we were going to see kind of like her uh, as like a child. And you do see that. Like the first 10 to 15 minutes of the movie um, shows how she was taken into that whole um that whole thing where she's in the red room and they're training her and how that all came to be. But uh, I thought it was going to uh, touch more on how she was trained and that whole process. And you'd get like flashes of that. But the actual timeline and like 90% of the movie uh, takes place between uh, Civil War and Infinity War. So that whole time where they're like on the run and everything, uh, the whole Sokovia Accords, uh, at least the Avengers that were bad boys and girls and rebelled um you get to see what was going on in that time period uh with at, at least with black widow uh you don't see any like captain america or anybody else nobody's in the movie like that but um i, I think it delivered i didn't really have a problem with that i actually had fun watching the movie they were the oh the action scenes were were <laughs> what you would expect from a marvel movie they were awesome um, the fight scenes, there was, uh, some action sequences 
throughout the movie there wasn't a lot of some people said there were draggy parts yes but like what movie doesn't have draggy parts to it um you kind of just got to let go of all the nitpicking and just enjoy the movie for what it was because there is a story being told there is um what can i say here uh there are some oh the guy who is the guy that played um the red guardian Oh, I can't remember his name now. Well, the, the, anyway, the actor who plays Red Guardian, the, I thought he did a fabulous job. He uh, provided a lot of comic relief and some scenes that needed it and some scenes that were kind of like, you know, a little unnecessary maybe. But uh, I'd like to see more of him in a more serious role where he's not so goofy. But again, like, I enjoyed it. I was laughing my ass off. Like, you know, he provided a lot of um, fun comic relief type of moments there's actually a lot of emotional um uh scenes in the movie there were at least a few scenes where you know your boy had tears in his eyes because they really do they 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 get you um oh especially the end scene i'm not gonna say anything but um yeah they dropped the ball with taskmaster hard um other than that though i, I thought it was I thought it was a good movie. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys don't think so. Maybe that's not a popular opinion, but I liked it. Um, the the end uh, of the movie, like the whole fallout of what's going on there throughout the movie, comes to a head, and um, it's wild. It's wild, and there were some scenes that, like, there's a scene where she's uh, Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow. She's in a she's in a truck. And it gets flipped over and tossed around, dude. And it was even worse than uh, Nick Fury's um, a scene in Winter Soldier where they're, like, destroying his vehicle. And it's even worse than that. It's so unrealistic. I'm like, dude, you'd be dead. Anybody would be dead. Uh, but aside from that, I mean, I, I'm trying to find things to pick on about the movie other than, like, some lazy writing... Um, Taskmaster being a letdown. Not really being... It's more like they didn't explore the character. Um, there's also something that they did with the character that I'm sure a lot of people uh, were not happy about. Uh, I didn't think that it was necessary, but... Um, they, they made it work, I guess. But it wasn't a necessary thing. But anyway, I'm dragging on. It was a good movie. I think you guys should go see it. I had a good time with it. There is a post credit scene, so make sure you don't miss that because holy shit. But, uh, yeah. Uh, out of five stars, I'd give it a solid 3.5. I think it delivered for what it was. But uh, with that said, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Uh, make sure you guys leave your comments below. Tell me what you thought, if you liked it, if you didn't like it what your gripes were with it, what you enjoyed about the movie. And um, I'll see you guys later.